Hi guys. I'm in my car. It is Thursday. Excuse me, my allergies. And I didn't plan on being at the Dollar Tree today, but I woke up this morning and something wasn't right with my kitchen floor and I, you know, made my coffee, went upstairs and at a couple hours I went down to the kitchen. I'm like, why is my floor like, I have a uh, laminate flooring. So if you get water on it, it can like swell. And it, there was a bump and I was like, what the heck? So I went to the basement, um, there was a leak. Something's leaking, I don't know what's leaking. There's a hole, things are dripping, but not where the kitchen floor is. So I don't know, I had to turn my water off, long story short. And I just spilled coffee on our uh, Diet Pepsi, which for those of you who know and have been on my channel, I don't drink a lot of soda. Uh, but today is a day that I'm having a Diet Coke and a sugar-free caramel. So, anywho, I called my, well, I go online to my home warranty company and, um, you know, I put a, a, a request for service in, but the people have 24 hours to call me back and schedule, which, you know, I get it. It's unfortunate, but I get it. And, um, yeah, so there's that funness. So I, I had to turn my water off because I don't, you know, need to shut the water off to the house so it doesn't continue to keep dripping and ruining the ceiling, which I'm probably going to have to call my insurance company too. Once the plumbers come and have to do whatever it is that they have to do to find the leak, like, and they're gonna have to tear up my ceiling and my, it's in my downstairs basement, which is fully finished. It's living area down there, it's my spare bedroom. But I'm thankful that I caught it quickly. And I say quickly, but as soon as something didn't feel right, I caught it, you know, there could have been worse damage. So I'm just thankful for that. But anyway, I needed water to make coffee. Gotta have coffee. And you know, to drink and brush my teeth and all of that fun stuff. Because it's Thursday, I called the service provider because they sent me an email so I know who, who they assigned it to. I just don't know when they're coming, if that makes sense. Like I have no way of knowing when they're gonna call me back. They have that 24 hour window, but I know who's assigned. So I called them and just left a message. I was like, hey, I know that you have 24 hours. You just got this order. I'd really appreciate it if you'd call me because I have a leak. And they're going to hopefully call me tomorrow, but it's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. So there's a potential they won't be able to see me until next week. I do not want to go a weekend without water, but here's the deal. There's been, there's worse things in life, you know, perspective, Lori, perspective. So if you see my little green bag, overnight bag, I am headed to my cousin's. Well, I just left Dollar Tree, I got two tarps. So I'm gonna run into my house and put a tarp on the floor where the ceiling was leaking in case um, the ceiling decides the drywall breaks because of the weight of the water and I don't want it all over my carpet. Um, so I'm gonna put tarps down on the floor just to protect the carpet. And then I'm gonna drop the water off. Thank goodness I ran the dishwasher last night and I did laundry this morning before I had to shut the water off. So and the boys have plenty of water. Wellington, I'm, he's on some medicine. So I need to make sure he has plenty of water. He has, I don't know if I've said this, he has asthma and it's allergy induced. So he gets flare ups a couple times a year and he, He's been flirting with a flare up for the past, you know, week or so. Like, I thought maybe he wasn't feeling good, but then he'd perk up and I'm like, okay, I need a sign here, kitty cat. Tell me what I'm doing. Then the other night he vomited, which is not totally unusual for him, but it was like phlegmy. Sorry, TMI, but it wasn't like undigested food. It was phlegmy. So I was like, yeah, he needs his steroids. 
And thank goodness that we've had him at the vet so frequently that now I can just message them in the app and explain his symptoms and that he, you know, he's flare, he's in a flare of his asthma and they're so good to me. They just tell me, come pick up a prescription of his steroids. It has it written, you know, how much I give him and when I give it to him, he takes like two, it's a half a tablet. So I have break them all in half and he gets a half a tablet in the morning and at night for five days and then once a day for five days and then once every other day till they're gone. So it's a long process for him. So today he just wasn't feeling himself at all. He's not eating real good. And um, he's really clingy when he doesn't, when he gets like this. He literally sat on my desk on my lap all day while I was working. So I'm not leaving him overnight, but I am going to my cousin's to take a shower after I go home and take care of the basement and the tarps and all of that. And for like toilet flushing water, I'm pretty, ooh, <laughs> it's my brother, you know, the air freshener. Um, I have an outside spigot. I'll just fill a bucket or fill a gallon or a pitcher to put in the back of my toilet when I need to flush. It's not the end of the day. It's not the end of the world. Is it an inconvenience? Yes. But is it ruining my life? No. So that's kind of what's going on. However, when I went in, when I went in, I was in this Dollar Tree yesterday picking up some stuff and I was talking to the cashier and I said, you know, that I had seen the spring fling items and she's like, oh, those storage containers, they're out. They're so pretty. We got them on our truck. She's like, we're going to be putting them out tomorrow or the next day. And I said, well, I'll come Friday. I'm glad I went today because they were out and almost gone. So I grabbed almost everything I was looking for. I'm going to be reorganizing my craft space. And I needed a bunch of storage containers to re, you know, organize and put things in. And next week I'm getting delivered. This company is sending it to me and it's a metal stand with like fabric drawers. So nothing too like I'm not putting clothes in it, but it'll certainly hold craft stuff. And so I wanted some of the storage containers to put inside the drawers to separate things. And then I got some with the lock lids that will help too. So I'm excited for that. That was a, you know, a good thing that I ran into this Dollar Tree tonight. So I picked up a bunch of those containers. I'll show you on Tuesday what I purchased. And there was a couple, at least one new item that I've never seen in their line before, which is exciting. I'm gonna use it for food, I mean, not for food. I'm using mine for craft storage, but it's like a snack container and it would be perfect for a school lunch, you know, work lunch. There's a place for like your crackers or carrots or whatever. And then aside for like your dips, really neat container. And I love their lock lids and the smaller, the bigger ones I don't care for so much, but all right, I'm going home to put this tarp down and feed the cats. And then we're off to my cousins. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's morning and we're making coffee. I went out to dinner last night, which, you know, as I've mentioned before, I'm such a party animal. It went, so my niece, Sarah, it's her, gonna be her 30th birthday on the 10th. And so um, her dad, my brother, Jay, the one on the air freshener, his wife, Ellen, my sister-in-law, and Sarah went out to a very lovely dinner. It was so nice. Um, I got to see Luna yesterday. Wellington is feeling better. Hi, buddy. You want to say hi? He's feeling better. The medicine, it's amazing how, how good the medicine makes him feel. No, we're not scratching. Say hi. He just had his breakfast. He hates it that I have to give him medicine all the time, but he needs it. I know, buddy. He wants some cream. All right. All right, there you go. If you heard him, he's hoarse from his coughing and his asthma. He gets like, I mean, I guess we're gonna call it like laryngitis situation. I'm making some mocha coffee. I have to run errands today. Then we're gonna come home and put the fireplace on because it's gonna be a cold one. 
So I, and I have questions. Today I'm using Truvia. The brand isn't what's important to me. It's the um, content. So this is Stevia and Erythritol. Um, let me see if I can find the ingredient label for you. I don't, you're not gonna be able to see it, but there's no dextrose, there's no maltodextrin, there's no um, sucrose, sucralose, no saccharin. It's strictly Stevia and Erythritol and it does not affect my blood sugar. And then I have in here, this is honestly, it's Hershey's dark, special dark cocoa, unsweetened. And I just take like this little spoon. That's it. Oh, I need one more sweetener. I forgot when I make the mocha, because this is unsweetened, it does take a little more sweetener. I was using packets, but it's such a waste. And I found that a packet is a half a teaspoon. So I just use a teaspoon and a half. But if I'm using the cocoa, then I have my frother. And it does a really good job of mixing in the cocoa and frothing up the cream. It's delicious. I think I need to change out my battery soon. Okay, now I talked to you about my leak. Thank goodness that Friday the plumber was able to get here because on Thursday I had to turn my water off. Um, I didn't know where it was coming from, but I had an idea. So I'm in the kitchen, obviously, duh, making coffee. And when I came in on Thursday morning, I noticed that a couple of my laminate floorboards were swollen. Um, so I have laminate wood and I will tell you, I am so lucky and I caught it so quickly that the swelling is down because I thought my floor was gonna be ruined forever, but it's not. So they were kind of swollen, so when I walked in, I could feel the bump on my foot, which led me to believe there was an issue. But it was seven o'clock in the morning, and I was like, what is going on? And then I went upstairs, got ready for work, started my work day, came back down around 10 o'clock to get coffee, and it was worse. And I was like, okay, what's going on? Because I thought, did I, this, was this here, and I just didn't notice it? So I ran down to my basement and that's when I found the ceiling leak way over there, nowhere near this kitchen. So I was like, oh great. So I know where the water shuttles, I shut the water off, called, we're putting an order in for my home warranty company. Oh, by the way, that's what it, you're not gonna be able to see it, but there's frothy cream, chocolatey cream down there. So I called my warrant or go online and I request service through my home warranty. And what happens is you're given the name of the per the company that is going to service your do your service call but they get 24 hours to call you so i kind of panicked a little bit and i was like i don't want to be this long without water so i called them and i'm like i know you just got this order i totally get it i had to turn my water off to my house so if you could get back to me sooner rather than later that would be fantastic i don't really want to go all weekend without water so I didn't hear anything on Thursday. And then on Friday morning, he called me and he's like, I have a cancellation. I'm in your area. Can I come by? I'm like, absolutely. I'm here. Come. So he came and I showed him the two leaks. He's like, it's coming from your refrigerator. He didn't even look in the ceiling. He knew. And I was like, oh, you are got to be kidding me. Yeah. Pulls out my fridge and it's the water line to my ice maker. And I know you don't need to tell me. I know how many times those lines leak and cause major damage. The problem that I have is that I don't have access to the shutoff. So part of my budgeting plan is I'm hiring a plumber to come and unearth or re send a new line somehow so that I can shut the water off to my refrigerator. But until that happens, I have to leave it on because I have no way of tapping it off. So, he pulled out the refrigerator. It was saturated back there. I ran to the basement. The ceiling actually is dry and it's not like sagging or anything. So it's dry and back in position. I need to wait two weeks and then take care of the ceiling down there. And I'm so super happy. I thought I was gonna have to call somebody out to put, lift up some of these boards and put new boards under it. But that doesn't seem to have to be the case. So I was very lucky. So I just wanted to give you a little follow-up. Oh, look at that foam on top, guys. Oh, so good. I love mocha coffee. 
Um, and today I deserve it. Oh, fun fact. I have a new cup. Um, I took one of my gift cards from my birthday or Christmas and I decided I had to have this. You can't really tell, but this is navy blue. I am obsessed with navy blue. And this holds 20 ounces, so I bought it. I don't care if it was $30. No, mm -mm. And it was a gift, because I didn't really spend my money. I used gift card money that was given to me to buy a cup. And I have been, I'm gonna put the cream away. I have been using, for my coffee upstairs and when I'm working, I've been using, as you can see back here, I'm washing them. I've been using these cups because the mugs are great, but when I'm working, it gets cold and I'm wasting too much coffee. This keeps it hot and I can sip on this like for a couple hours and it's all still very warm. Like last night, we went to dinner and it's cold here right now. So it was like below 30. It was probably in the twenties last night. And I poured, I had coffee in this cup that I had been sipping on for like an hour, left it in the car. And when we left the restaurant two hours later, it was still hot. I'm just saying these are worth, I would, I mean, I don't have a Yeti and I don't have a hydro flask, but in the coffee world, I feel like this is it. Oh, and I'm going to be having a giveaway coming up. Speaking of coffee, a company sent me two, one for me, one for you, a um, cold brew in a cup situation. I got to figure it out and then I'll show you and then I will tell you how you're going to enter to win it. I know. So if you're interested in something like that, because I've been doing a lot of giveaways this year already, you better subscribe. All right, we're gonna go to Aldi and the Dollar Tree because I need groceries. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna cook some, well, I have leftovers from last night, it was so good. But I'm making also for some next <coughs> couple meals, we're gonna make um, coconut chicken curry a la Lori. I don't know, I read a bunch of recipes and I'm just gonna do my own thing. All right, talk to you later. Here's the grocery haul. It was like $36.50 this week. I got asparagus, I love asparagus. I'm gonna roast it. Sour cream, I only needed one creamer. I got two little jars of this tomato sauce. And I don't think this stuff has anything in it besides tomato. Nope, it is seasoned. So I got two cans of this, the little ones. At Dollar Tree I got a big one. They had maple brown sugar coffee and caramel cream to try. These are $3.79. I'm telling you, it's a great deal. I needed some extra virgin olive oil. And then I think this week I'm going to make some like meat and cheese wraps. So I have some smoked cheddar and some buffalo chicken. I think that's a half pound. Yeah, half pound. That'll last a couple days. Um, I need to put this in the fridge, but it's just hard salami. I love this stuff. And I will tell you, if you travel, like international even, I took some to Scotland, I just threw it in my suitcase and it was great because we had a refrigerator in our room and I was able to um, have this in my room in Scotland and that worked out well for me. And then I got some mozzarella and some shredded cheddar. And then I have in the fridge other cheeses that I can cut up. So that's all I needed for the week. Pretty soon I'm gonna make my curry after lunch. Hi friends, we're in the kitchen and we're getting ready to make, well, tomorrow. Today is Saturday and I'm marinating these chicken thighs that I cut up. It was skin and bone, so skin on bone in. I took the bone out and most of the skin off and I just cubed up my chicken thighs. I'm gonna be making tomorrow some chicken coconut curry. So tonight what we're gonna do is marinate these chicken thighs so they take on some flavor. So I just have some cheap old lemon juice here. You can use Greek yogurt for this step as well. I just don't have any, but what I'm looking for is the tang. So just a little bit of lemon juice, not a whole lot. I mean, that's probably a tablespoon. Um, I have some, oh. I have a low battery. I have some squeezy ginger. Just gonna throw a couple blobs of that in. I don't measure. Tomorrow we'll use the coconut milk 
And I also have fenugreek leaves for tomorrow. These are Indian spices. Now I'm gonna throw a little celery salt just because I like the way it tastes. Um, garlic powder. Onion powder. And, and not a lot of each, probably a couple teaspoons. And then the star is the curry powder. And this is just a spice blend. Oops, we'll wash that. A spice blend, and I'm gonna put a fair amount in here. Um, the yellow is turmeric, and there's all kinds of spices, but I pretty much want a lot in there. And then we're gonna stir it all together and make sure it gets blended well. Um, you could put a little oil in here if you wanted. I'm not gonna do anything else. Um, like I said, if you had plain Greek yogurt, that's really good. That's what I put on my butter chicken, but I don't have any, and I was like, you know what, I don't need to go buying stuff I don't have. Let's work with what we got. So we're getting this all stirred up, and the chicken will uh, sit overnight. It'll create some juice of its own, but that's fine. If you want a little heat to this, you can add some cayenne pepper. Um, and I will probably add some cayenne when I do the sauce tomorrow. But this is just to flavor up the chicken. And I don't want it overly um, spicy. So I just put some black pepper. And I think it needs a little more curry. I really like curry, if you can't tell. I would say overall, I'd probably put a tablespoon or two. Sorry, I don't measure. And this is not a specific recipe. I read a bunch of different recipes and we're just kind of making this up as we go. So, everybody has some seasoning on it and a little lemon juice, a little ginger. So all I'm gonna do this is, first I'm gonna dig out my ginger cover so it doesn't get rusty. I'm going to put the lid on this bowl, which I have right here. Put it in my refrigerator overnight and ouch. I have a crack in my finger and that hurt. And then I'm just going to let it sit overnight. I may give it a shake or two every couple hours and then tomorrow we'll pan fry this and then we'll make the sauce. For you, you'll see it all together. I'll piece together the, uh, when I'm editing so that you're getting the straight recipe. But in life, I'm getting ready to go upstairs and film a video and then I'm gonna have a little more content for you and then we'll cook this. So look, you're getting some behind the scenes. And I'm gonna leave these spices out because a lot of them will be mirrored in the sauce that we're making, the coconut sauce. And the other thing I have is uh, unsweetened coconut that I'm gonna put in here. So that's it for now, we're just gonna let that marinate. All right, I took the chicken that I marinated overnight and I'm just frying it in small batches. If I had a non-stick pan, it would get crisp, you know, like a coating or crispness to it. I don't. I'm not that worried about it. Would it be better? Sure. But that's okay. So I'm cooking this chicken to pretty much done because the next step is going to be the sauce. And then I'll just put the chicken back in to finish, you know, just a little bit, warm it up really. So I wanna make sure this chicken is almost completely cooked. And please remember, this is like a made up recipe. This is definitely not authentic, I would say. Um, but just to recap, I did use in, oops, I don't know what that looks like a bone. I did use in here, um, curry powder, garlic, and onion powder, and all of that. All right, we're gonna let this cook. I just threw in the rest of the chicken broth. There wasn't much left, but if you can see, this is pretty reduced. So I'm gonna add this can of just coconut milk. And I actually get this at the Dollar Tree, which is surprising to me, but there's no, it's just coconut milk, water, potassium, and a there is a um, uh, meta something sulfite to protect, you know, to preserve it. That's it. So I'm adding in 
the coconut milk. And we're just gonna let this go. I wanna let it simmer for a little while, thicken up. And then we'll add the chicken back in and maybe cover it or sprinkle a little bit of coconut. I have some unsweetened coconut that I can put in here that I think will help with the flavor too. Maybe I'll put a little in now. Cause you know, we want that coconut flavor. Let's see what we got in here, kids. Okay, so I have this coconut flake set up on top when it's done, but I have this finely shredded coconut. This is all unsweetened. So what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle, oh yeah, it smells like coconut. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit just to kind of give this that coconut flavor, you know? There we go. I don't need any sweetener in it. I think this coconut will add, there's no added sugar in this coconut, but it will hydrate in here and release some of its flavor. So we're just gonna let this simmer and thicken up. And I have some xanthan gum. If it doesn't thicken up real well, I can add that to it. And that will definitely give it a, you know, you don't wanna add too much xanthan gum, like a sprinkle. So we're just gonna let that do its thing. Do a little taste test. Mmm, that's good. I might need a little more curry powder. Yeah, it's gonna need a little more spices. I'm gonna add a little more curry powder to it. All right, I ended up adding a can of eight ounce, an eight, eight ounce can of tomato sauce to it. It's okay. I mean, I'm gonna eat it because I'm not gonna waste food, but I wouldn't say make it yourself. Still on the drawing board on this, but my sauce is thickened up pretty good and reduce. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna show you how much xanthan gum I add to thicken something. Literally that much. I mean, it's not even like measurable. If you put too much, oh, this is what it's called, xanthan gum. If you put too much xanthan gum, it gives it a slimy texture and I do not like that. So I just sprinkle a little bit in there. This is okay, like I said, so it's, the chicken broth, the can of coconut milk, and then I put an eight ounce can of tomato sauce in it, and I just cooked it down with all the spices, the onion, and then a packet of sugar, which is a half a teaspoon of my sweetener. So like I said, it's okay. Am I going to make it again, like just like this? No, I'll try different, keep, recipe, keep researching, but you know, not everything is a perfect on the first go round and I wanted to share that with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna let that do its thing. I'm gonna put these in the sink real quick. I need to rinse off my um, spatula and we're gonna put the meat back in. And the meat's gonna go in with all of its juices here. And I just had it off to the side in a pan. And there's a lot of sauce because I kept adding stuff to it. So I will let this heat up and then I will store it. I'll eat it. Store it in the fridge. Um, I've already tasted it, so we won't do that. And tonight is Super Bowl night. So I may make some chicken wings and have this tomorrow. And I will serve this over riced cauliflower. Um, yeah, and I'll put it in a glass storage container. And this will last me a couple days of meals. So that's it. That's my curry that I made, chicken coconut curry. It's okay, like I said. Oh, I wanted to put a little fenugreek in it. These little fenugreek leaves. Um, I put these at the end 
and this is an Indian spice and it really brings a lot of flavor to your cook, to your meal. So this is good. I like it enough. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to, it's not a keeper. It's a work in progress. So I hope you enjoyed coming along while I made this and I will check in with you before we end this vlog, but I need to let this cook down a little bit. There we go.